Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Omega Part 8. And this time we're going to take on the Territory 4 Castle. Alright, we're back in Adam, making some serious progress. Oh, that's not a problem at all, because... Got, okay, now that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> taking too many hits. This is an omen for things to come. Oh shit. Okay. So, I think I've decided what my other... That was lucky. I think I've decided what my other Let's Play is going to be for the time being. Um... It's one that I'm probably not going to 100%, because if I did that, it would be really fucking long. Not, not like how I did Spyro, because Spyro is a bit of an exception. <clears throat> Just because it's... It, uh, what do I want to say? It doesn't really, uh, take a lot of effort, I guess I would say, to get all the gems. And really, it's like, worst comes to worst, you, um, you just have to go back and look for some more gems. Which isn't really that big of a deal in that game, so... Just thought I'd point that out. Now, this game... I would be playing- can I jump down here? Hey, I can. The mushroom. Um, game I would be considering would be probably Crash Bandicoot 2. Which is why I say that game is kind of, kind of, like, fucking tough to get everything because there's a shit ton of secrets. Um, unlike the- can I hit these in this game? Oh, I can! It's a pretty nice addition. Um, yeah, I, uh, it, it, there's just a lot of hidden stuff in that game, making it kind of not as easy to, oh shit, I'm just supposed to do that. Fuck! I was just gonna have to jump in. Whatever. <laughs> but these guys are rocking the boat pretty hard. These thwomps. Okay. Let's keep on trucking. Now that's a game I probably won't ever do is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Even if it is addicting for some odd reason, how did I not get hit by that? I think that's just an act of mercy from this game. And that wasn't. <laughs> as soon as I congratulate the game on being nice to me, it's mean to me, so... I don't think it's a good idea for me to be nice to it. Okay. What am I supposed to be doing with this? That oh, it gives me a feather. Oh, whatever you do, don't like jump into that tiny little crevice you see there. Because bad things will happen to you. Very bad things will happen to you. <laughs> if I can say so myself. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it all in one hit. He's gonna get to hit me, but I still took him out relatively easy. If you just get into, a, like, a rut in that level, like, you can literally spend a good, like, two minutes or so just attempting to hit Roy Koopa. Like I said, you, you have to get into a bad rut. That's why... It's really advised that you try to hit him three times in rapid succession before he even gets time to walk on the walls. Alright. Kind of interesting. As the sun finally finishes setting, another territory in the Gemto region is recovered by Mario. There aren't many more places left for Bowser to hide. Only two territories to go. So... Finished four, I need to finish five, and then I'll save state now. Five and six, but I thought there were seven territories, so maybe he's hiding in the seventh, which is probably what's happening. But I feel like that would count as liberating as well. Let me guess, is there a mushroom behind here? Yes. <laughs> I kind of guessed that wasn't a very cryptic thing. What in the world is going on over here? Shit. It, that did not look solid. I'll be honest. 
okay, let's keep on moving. Well, I'm assuming I- no, you can move farther that way. Well, in that case, I am going to check these pipes to see if there's any keys in them or shit. Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't- what in the world? Well, can I- <laughs> well, that's why you shouldn't let that happen. I'm gonna be honest. So, uh, that's a death over there. Um, can't even really see, like, anywhere else in this stage. Those are just coins. So, nothing really worth it. Okay. I get the feeling that you have to get over to that area of the ship in order to really, um, I guess, like, do something with the secret exit shit. So, hopefully, it's not too hard of a secret exit to find. But, you know, this, I feel like Super Mario Omega is truly hit or miss on whether it is or not. Oh, well, I wonder if I'm supposed to get to the different areas by swimming throughout the boat. God, I always hate these kind of, like, explore around. Not because I hate exploration, but just because, like, it's just, it's, it's not, it's not my cup of tea, I guess I would say. I like exploration games when they're not in the form of Mario. I guess I'd put it that way. Okay, let's go this way. Plus, you can get turned around so much, and one of the reasons why I like LPing Mario is the fact you can very easily kind of do it. It's not a game that... I don't know. I guess I would say other games Let's Plays can get kind of involved, especially when you're um, a completionist like me. I think I was talking to one of my... So, someone I knew, and they, they're, they're an exact opposite play style of me, which is just kind of play through the game, and like, I don't know, I just can't do that for some reason. Like, I'll play through it, but I gotta like, you know, I gotta like, try to find all the secrets and shit. I'm usually not a huge achievement hunter, just because I get bored real quick, especially because a lot of the, a lot of the, I was gonna get... Fuck, I didn't mean to rewind there. Um, I'm not someone who really cares as much about achievements, because, shit. Because I feel like you can... They, they get boring, and a lot of them are like... <clears throat> um, what do I want to say? They're very based off of, like, how, um, how well you can do certain stuff, especially when it's like... Get a gold medal on completing this time trial at this exact time. I find that to get kind of annoying real fast. Uh, maybe it's just meant to make the place go faster. Oh, well, that's kind of weird. That's a weird thing to do. Um, I don't know. Is this looks like a secret place. What the fuck's the purpose of this? Like, why is there... Why is there... Why, why is there this room? I don't get it. Explain. God, I kinda just want, like, a... I just want this level to, like, end now. I didn't think it was gonna be this fucking involved. Damn. This is going to be a stage where I'm not going to straight up, like, dive right back in for the secret exit. I'm gonna look around first. Um, let's see. Dear God, I'm getting turned around. If I die from time, I'm gonna be real pissed. I'll tell you that much. I fucking hate that shit. When you get... 
when you when you get hurt simply because or when you die simply because you don't complete something in enough time like really this isn't supposed to be a goddamn speed run now i'll tell you this much i really don't like ghost houses for the sole fact that they just get confusing and half of them are trial and error and in my opinion trial and error is the biggest waste of my fucking time you could possibly do to me as a gamer like it's not it's not fun it's not fun to do trial and error Makes me feel like I'm, like, testing a level out for someone. Am I getting taken to the end of this stage already? Uh... Hello? Did I make it? I think this is the normal exit, so... Let's find out. Yeah, that definitely was. Okay, guys. Let's see. I will come back to you when I find the exit. Okay, guys. Um, I'm almost positive that I figured out the secret exit to this area now, so... That's pretty nice. Okay, so... It's all about... this... this area right here. I think you're supposed to take out the uh, Torpedo Ted with one of those floating blocks. But yeah, so as you can see, you end up getting a P-switch here, so, um, that's, that's something else. I didn't even know you could fall into this. Am I even, no, I do, I do not have it anymore. Wait. Um. Ah, so apparently those are the... Those are the purpose of those things. Well, I guess I'm trying to figure out now what I'm really supposed to do, because you can't take them with you. Huh. I really thought that that was it. Like, I really don't get... guys, I thought I found the secret. I will see you guys again. <laughs> okay, guys. I know where the switch is for real. And unfortunately, I was actually, like, on to the right track the first time with that room. So, that was kind of saddening. <laughs> I'm usually not for looking up secrets really badly, but I'm gonna be honest. I wouldn't have actually gotten the secret to this on my own. Like, I I'm pretty confident in saying that, because I can't really see myself actually of getting where it is. Anyways, it's it, it does involve going into this bonus room, but instead, you have to go down here, you have to sink to the bottom, and then you have to go, you have to go, uh, left. What a bunch of shit. You just gotta keep on going left until you hit this, and then come down here, and then work your way back over. Which I find pretty ridiculous. Well, if you remember, we did find the keyhole from before, which I believe is actually in the same room, so we don't have to search for that. That's, that's the nice thing. So, we kind of found, like, half of the secret. But really, what it was is... And I was thinking, oh, maybe they put the key behind this shit. Well, they kind of did. But I can't believe they actually did that. Like, That's like... A new level of shittiness. Mossy Cove 4, you know what? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Instead, we're going to go to Mossy Cove 2. Because it doesn't have a secret exit. And hopefully it won't be nearly as much of an asshole. Tide will move up and down. Use this to your advantage, but also be careful that you you don't swim too high or too low. Ah, shit. Maybe you guys should remember that it doesn't... Not you guys, but... People who made this game should have really realized 
that, you know, uh... <clears throat> can't just... Can't, you can't just do that shit. Ah. Uh, no, you can't. You can't cheat it that way. Oh well. I kind of, like, don't go too high or too low. Doesn't really matter that much, so... Oh, okay, I see why they say don't go too high, because of the... Because of the, uh... Munchers. But... Fuck it. Uh, why? I'm just getting impatient. And kind of... Forgetting the fact that there's a tide here. Uh, you know what? I thought those things were, like, bobbing up and down with the tide. So I was getting kind of confused there. Anyways. No! Come on! That's such a waste! Come on. Oh, and I just realized there is a consistency to the materials telling you whether you can walk through them or not. I just realized that. Shit. Shit. <laughs> okay, let's, let's try to get up here. I kind of don't want to go, like, smashing into that dude. <clears throat> nope, I found the midway point. So we can keep on going there. <clears throat> I, I don't know, I, I, I in general get the feeling that I'm not going to be a fan of this world in general. Because it seems like the kind of world that <clears throat> is just going to do shit tons of secret exits. And if any real guess from, or hint, I should say, from that uh, other level I had to do, uh, the Bossy Cove 1, then I know for a fact that uh, this is just going to be, like, terrible. <laughs> hopefully it gets better, and hopefully, like, the worst thing is, is that this world is like a mix of things that I absolutely hate, okay? I, I really don't like underground levels that much, and I don't like underwater levels, and this entire, like, world's theme is, like, underground, underwater levels, and that's just, like, really shitty in my opinion. I don't know, just kind of my own opinion. Am I still moving left? I don't like going against the status quo. <laughs> At least not, not in Mario games. Okay, take you out. Let's keep going. Kinda just happy to have that first level out of the way. But I don't know, there's another level. It seems like it's going to treat me to being awful. Oh shit, I almost got smashed by that thing. Okay, let's go through here. See where it, where it leads us the end goal. And where am I gonna go now? I'm gonna go to this Flooded Ruins. Okay. Well, next time, guys, we will do the Flooded Ruins, because this looks like a level that'll take a little bit longer. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.